My name is DeAndre Walker. I am a state cable engineer on the U.S. side of the Gordie Howe International Bridge. What that means is that I basically do everything that has to do with installing the state cables once everything gets on site. The state cables are important for the Gordie Howe International Bridge because the state cables are what's holding up all the weight of the bridge. Whether it's going to be a bunch of trucks or cars going across, the state cables are what delivers that load to the tower, ultimately down to the foundation, keeping everything stable and safe. The Gordie Howe International Bridge will have 216 state cables. You'll have 108 on the U.S. side, 108 on the Canadian side, 54 on the backspan side, 54 on the river side. Now there are two elements to what makes up a stay cable. One would be the black strand that I'm holding right here. The other would be the white pipes that you see behind me. Now mostly the black strand is what's actually holding up the weight of the bridge. So the white pipe that you see is just, it's a weather covering. It keeps the, the wind, the water and everything off of those strands, which are the critical members. Now the strands will have more than 16,000 of them between the U.S. and the Canadian side. If you were to lay them end to end, it would be about 5,000 kilometers or three, a little over 3,000 miles, which will stretch you from Detroit all the way to Anchorage, Alaska. Now for the, the white pipes that you see, my shortest pipe is about 375 feet, with the longest being close to 1,400 feet. The shortest state cable, including the strand and the HDPE, will weigh about seven and a half tons while the longest will weigh about 75 tons. We start off with fusing our pipes together through a combination of heat and pressure. Once we reach the required length of the pipe, we install one strand into the pipe, go to lift the pipe with the tower crane. It'll kind of look something like this, just lifting it up like a spaghetti noodle. We pull it over to the tower. I'm gonna to oversimplify it. We pull it over to the tower and connect up at the tower. And then we take the deck end and pull it over to the corresponding cable, connect that there and then we begin to stress our cables. Now, as we're stressing the cables, the cables will start to straighten out as we begin to stress. Um, after I have my first cable done, then I can run some guide wires through the cable, through each HDPE pipe. Now I can continue to run more strand up. I bring the strand up to the top, it follows the same process. We connect it up at the top, connect it at the bottom, stress the cable, and keep continuing, whether it's 38 strands or 122, that range, and just continue to run strands up through the cable like that. Up in the tower and down at the deck, we have these enormous anchorages. What happens is that we run the stay cable strand through the anchors, and we have these wedges that bite into the strand and hold the strand in place. So we connect it up at the top, set the wedge, bite into the strand, hold it up at the top, do the same thing down at the bottom, bite into the strand, and we're holding it, and then we continue to stretch the cable like that. Each segment of steel has a pair of stay cables. We start with installing the cables on the river side. As soon as those cables are done, we move forward and let the guys set more steel. Then while they're setting their steel for the next segment, we jump to the backspan side, pull the next set of cables, and just continue to go back and forth, swapping with the steel team. All the steel used in the state cables are from the United States. Everything is manufactured here. The anchors come from Cleveland, while the strands come from Tennessee. So while designing the bridge, one of the ways that was chosen to keep the ice from forming on the cables was to weld rings around the cables. At every foot, these cables have rings on it. That doesn't allow the ice to even form. It breaks up the water and allows it to just drip off instead of forming these large ice chunks that could cause harm to the public. The main difference between the state cable bridge and the suspension bridge is the way that the cables are attached from the deck to the tower. With the suspension bridge, when you look at them, you'll see a load-bearing cable going between the two towers and then cables shooting off to the side to an anchor pier that anchors it in. From those load-bearing cables, you have more cables that come down that are actually responsible for holding up the bridge deck. Now, so you kind of have like a middleman, a middle cable going from the bridge deck to the load-bearing cable. Now on the stay cable bridge, the cables are directly connected to the bridge deck to the tower. The main advantage of the stay cable bridge is that it allows you to make longer spans. That was important here because it allowed us to keep our towers out of the water. I feel very proud. Every day that I leave the office, I look back at the tower and look at the bridge and I feel like, okay, I did something today, you know? I've been here two and a half years, uh, a little over two and a half years from back when the tower was about 110 feet off the ground. 
and now, and it, it didn't really look like much. It just looked like we were building something. But now that you, when you're coming off I-75 or if you're downtown at the Riverwalk, you can see the bridge and see the tower and all of that. We spend a lot of time, a lot of hours doing this and it's pretty cool to see that people are noticing what we're doing, it's on the news and all of that. It makes me feel really proud to be a part of it. This project means a little more to me than I think it does others, being that I'm from Detroit. I went to school about, at Cast Tech, about 10, 15 minutes away. Uh, my whole family is here. On these big projects like this, everybody usually will have to move away to go to something. So for me to be able to come home and work on a, an international project, something that it, of this magnitude, it was amazing for me to do. It, it just fills me with pride.